Aside from the visitor center and this viewpoint, there's not really much else on this exit. Hmm. You can put a pin. The rest of the park is about 13 minutes away from this visitor center, so let's get back on the interstate and head over there. Teddy Roosevelt is one of the most interesting presidents we've ever had. He lived only to be 60 years old, which is not extremely old by today's standards, but 60 years is 60 years. He explored and accomplished so much during his lifetime. In terms of this particular region, he came to the Dakota Territory in 1883 to do some bison hunting for a couple of weeks. A few months later, he had returned home to New York where his wife had just given birth to their first child. But two days later, his mother died of typhoid fever and then his wife dies of kidney failure on the exact same day. So I suppose he spent some time grieving and then of course welcoming his newborn child into the world. And after a few months, he starts just going back and forth visiting the Dakota territories throughout the rest of his life, which this place must be pretty meaningful to him. As you can probably imagine, in 1800s, traveling from New York to North Dakota was not as fast as it is today. Come around. Wow. That's a ram horn. Dang, that's full oh, heavy too. Look at that. It's pretty heavy. Uh -huh. Two, of, those in the Two of them in the head. That's me. He's gone. Hmm. Winchester forty sixty rifle. ended up being the loop road we were trying to get on, but we ended up making it work out. I'm getting the baby. The baby looked like a cow baby, right? Oh no! Yeah, why do you think I was laughing? Thank <laughs> you. 
This is the Boy Court Trail. Easy terrain. was closed at the end of the scenic loop but now we have to go all the way back out and around in the other way. Um, so far we saw maybe a couple of wild horses all the way far away and now we're going out and going to Montana. Those are some horses very far away in the distance, but they're there. The wild horses. There are the wild horses. Lucky horse, huh? towards Glacier National Park, which is about nine hours from Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Just a warning, if you do choose to do this drive, make sure that all of your media and maps are downloaded and that your gas tank is full. Internet is really spotty out here and towns with gas stations are pretty spread out. Do you wanna go dancing? Huh? Do you wanna go dancing? Oh, the dancing food, wow. This dance power. Be sure to subscribe and check out the next video where we will be exploring Glacier National Park.